Hello, good morning to all. In the previous video, I had already discussed about the uh, different types of networks. So now we are continue this first lesson, and today we are continue the network topology. So here, first we will discuss about the network topology. So here the the term topology refers to the way of network is laid out either physically or logically. So topologies can be considered as a network shape. So here the different different types of topologies are used. So the first we will discuss about the star topology, and then after worst topology and ring topologies. So the first according to this star topology, there have a shape. So with the help of this shape, we can easily to understand means all these nodes is directly linked to the centralized network. So this centralized network it is called the hub or yeah, switch. So according to the definition of this start up logic, in start up logic devices are not directly linked to each other. Means this is a node one and this is a node two. So in this figure there have this node it is not be really linked to the this node two. So this is type of uh, network it is not uh, known as a start up logic. the hub act as a central control and if a node wants to send data to another node so first we will send this node the data from this hub ya switch then after this hub ya switch to transfer the certain data to the certain node ya fir system so here there have some advantage of start up logic so the first advantage of start up logic is easy to install because all these computer are directly linked to the one server so one server will be maintain and control all these computer all ya yeah, fir node then there have some disadvantage of this start up logic so it requires a longer length of a cable so when we will assemble ya yeah, fir set up this start up logic so there have longer length of a cable and the second disadvantage of this start up logic if the hub means if this hub ya fir centralized network is fail then the whole system ya fir all nodes are disabled because this centralized network it is not working then all computer is also not be do any work then after we will discuss about the next uh, next type of topology so here this is a bus topology so according to to the this topology there have this backbone so with the help of this backbone all these computers are connected so there have some definition of bus topology so bus topology use a single cable to connect all device with terminator at both end so here the both end the this terminator are assemble so cable is also called a trunk ya common backbone ya segment to connect all devices so this cable ya this middle wire it is known as a backbone ya segment ya trunk so all these devices ya all these nodes are directly linked to this backbone so a device wanting to communicate with another device on a network send a broadcast message on the wire so if this device to send any type of information so this device will be broadcast the message to this backbone cable so message on the wire that all all other device see but only the intended recipient actually accept and process the message so here there have also some advantage of bus and disadvantage of bus topology so first we will discuss about the advantage of bus topology so first point is connecting the computer or peripheral to line bus is easy so with the help of this backbone you can easy to connect any type of node ya fir system then after the second advantage is failure of one node does not affect the rest of the network means if there have any system are failure then the rest system are working as well as then after the disadvantage of bus topology so entire network shut down if there is failure is the backbone so in the star topology if this centralized computer or if a centralized network are failure then all system are useless so according to this bus topology if this 
bus if you have this backbone cable is a failure then all system are failure then after the next topology is ring topology so according to the ring topology this is a figure so there have no any back uh, centralized network all computer are connected to each other means as, a, uh, as it is this uh, diagram so the ring topology the ring topology is actually a logical design the data travels in a circular fashion from one computer to another on the network data travels only one direction in a ring topology so each computer passes the data to the next one on the line automatically so the data will be transferred from only one direction means suppose that this computer send the data from this system so this system will be first send the data from the near node then after the near node will be send the data to the next node now here some advantage of ring topology so ring topology is easy to install and reconfigure and the second point is every computer is given equal access to the ring and there have some disadvantage of ring topology means if failure in any cable node breaks the loop and can put down the entire node network so suppose that if any system are failure then the entire system are failed then the next topology is tree topology so according to the tree topology this is a combination of bus and star topology so here this is a bus means backbone cable and there have one server so this one server will be connected all these nodes so this is a tree topology it is called a combination of bus and the star topology so here the advantage of tree topology means the first point is the distance to where a signal can travel increase as the signal passes through a chain or hub and the second point is this topology allows isolating and prioritizing communication from different nodes and there have some disadvantage of this tree topology if the backbone line breaks means if this backbone line are break then the all systems are failure and suppose that this server if it this centralized computer are failure then these two devices are not be working after that we will discuss about the last topology is mesh topology so according to the mesh topology means all system are directly interconnected to each other so this is a mesh topology means if this computer is connected so this computer is connected to every node means first second third fourth fifth so this type of communication it ya uh, fire connection it is known as a mesh topology so in a mesh topology every node has a dedicated points to point link to every other node so this type of topology it is known as a mesh topology and there have some advantage of mesh topology means the use of large number of links eliminate network congestion and the second point is if one link becomes usable it does not disable the entire system and there are some disadvantage of mesh topology so the amount of required cabling is very large because all system are connected to each other so there have a lots of cable connection so this type of connection will be very large then the second point as every node is connected to the other installation and configuration is very difficult because there have many wires so the if suppose that if you want to connect the new system to the this type of topology there have very confusion so this type of uh, topology is very complicated